Hello everyone, it's Denise back again. I, um, I'm back with another journal share. I'm so excited. I was able to, uh, to construct another journal. Um, I actually, I made three. These were just going to be, um, my, uh, blank journal kits. These are for, um, one of my friends here locally, um, she was going on a trip for her son's 21st, excuse me, to celebrate their his 21st birthday. She was taking them um, all to Vegas. So um, she wanted me to make her a few kits one for her and one for each of her two sons' girlfriends. So um, she saw the last kits that I had with the bear journals and um, those sold so quickly. She wanted to purchase a, a few of those and they sold so quickly. And so she asked me if I would be able to make her a few more. And of course I said, yes, I was happy to do so. Um, so these two are just bare. They'll, um, they're blank. They'll come with, um, you know, an embellishment kit as you know, you've seen the embellishment kits that I provide. And then for hers, um, I just wanted to decorate hers or embellish hers because, um, they're not really crafters. She's, she crafts from time to time, but the girls, I don't know that they are. I don't think they are. And so I just wanted to, um, I asked her if it would be okay if I just, you know, embellished her journal that way she uh, or they could see what they could do with the embellishment kit to the blank journals. And she, of course, was more than happy to have me do that. So um, so this will be the, the journal that I'll be showing you all. These, again, like I said, they're very typical of my blank journals. There's nothing to them, no stamping. It's just the blank, the blank pages. So you've got some bags and um, craft paper, you know, some copy paper, some of the pattern paper. I did use the lavender collection from Prima. There's some music sheet and some graph paper there. Some Edith Holden. We've got some pockets in here, and then there's um, some. You know, you've got your tip outs, but of course you can. They can glue these down as well, and just create tuck spots here too. So super fun, and you know, like I said, you guys have all seen my embellishment packs. They come loaded, so um, they'll be able to decorate this up really really cute so I did those and then um, and then with hers I had a lot of fun uh, just decorating that for her so we will um, go over that she did like this paper collection so the two girls what happened was I had um, three different covers one of them was an all floral and she let the girls pick out which ones they wanted. And so they both wanted these ones. And she was like, well, I guess I'll just take the floral one. And so I could tell, I could tell that she would pre have preferred one of the, these two. So I asked her, you know, do you like the other ones better? Because I can switch the cover for you. And she was like, yeah, I want the, you know, this one here is the one she wanted. So, so I did. I just switched the cover out for her. That was, wasn't a big deal. So that's why there's two with the same cover. So I'm just going to move these aside. Um, I got a lot of inspiration for this journal from um, Joyce Kerr's, from the journal that she sent me, which is this one. And I have a video, um, a few videos back where I did this, a flip through on this journal and it is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. And so, and I know that Joyce um, got a lot of her inspiration for this journal um, from Angie and, and many others, many others, but I see a lot of Angie's work in Joyce's work as well. So, um, you know, we all inspire each other 
<laughs> every day. So, uh, but that's, that's where I got the inspiration for this. I did a lot of um, similar techniques in this journal that I lifted from this one here. So thank you so much, Joyce, for the inspiration, my dear. I love, love, love my journal. I love it. So, um, and then also look at this beautiful fabric that I got you guys. Isn't that a perfect, perfect match? Isn't that so perfect? Oh my gosh. So this was a dress that I picked up and I just, I've been cutting it up, cutting up the fabric. I just love it. I picked that up at a thrift store, if you can believe it. It's so pretty, so, so pretty, and just perfect for this collection. And I've got plenty of it. So I was super excited about that. So you'll see pieces of that throughout. And then the piece that I used from that dress was probably only about that big. And it, it got me through this entire book. So that was super cool. I didn't need a lot of it. So that was really nice. So here, um, getting on to the journal. Sorry, <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> I think I'm just so excited because I finally have something to share again. So I did um, my typical elastic um, band closure and I did do the, um, the beaded charms there off the front. And then it does have um, some of the bead charms hanging off the side there on the paper clips. Okay, so we'll just take that off. And then I did make her a writing board um, so that because a lot of the embellishments in here are dimensional and there's buttons and stuff like that. So um, this just will make it a lot easier for her to write on. You'll just, you know, with the writing board, you just put it behind the sheet that you're going to write on. And then if there's any um, embellishments underneath, it won't um, it won't uh, get in the way of your writing. So these are really nice to have if you have an embellished journal. So I did I did make her one of those and it's just made out of chipboard. I covered it in the pattern paper. Isn't that paper gorgeous? I love it. Love, love, love this collection so pretty okay so let's go ahead and just go on in so this first one first page I've just got this little card here and it's got a D for Donna is her name and then on that card I've just got these gorgeous fibers and I sell these in my shop um, the color palette on this stuff is beautiful, you guys. It's just got, um, I'll back it on that paper there. It's got like um, mochas and um, gray, blue, lavender, pink, a little bit of yellow, cream. It's just beautiful and it's very, very fine. It's so, so delicate. I just love this stuff. So there's one of the beaded charms. And just a perpetual calendar. You've got the lace tabs along the side. Here's an altered alteration tag that I just did a little bit of collaging on. It's just got some um, book page, a feather. Here's some of that um, fabric there from that dress. Uh, some more book page, a button, and then some of those fibers again. And then here's this lavender um, silky trim from the shop as well. It's just blank on the back so she can do some writing back there. And then I did another little collage here on the bottom with just a heart that I cut out of some book page. I did a couple of staples. There's some more fabric right behind here. Right there. And then some more of those fibers. Some cheesecloth back here. A little bit of lace snippet. I carry this lace in the shop too. And then a button. And then here we just got a journaling card from... Um, I just cut that out of the paper collection. Another paper clip with a bead dangle. 
There's a glassine bag. I carry these in the shop too. With another journaling card. And then on the bag I just um, put some cheesecloth back here. There's some more of that fabric from the dress. Some of those fibers. I use the same fibers throughout um, on the collaging. And then I've got that little embroidered floral applique there in purple. Super pretty. There's a um, midget glassine bag from the shop. And then inside there, we've just got a tag. And it's just blank. And then behind there, there's another one. And that's just a printable. I topped it off with some more of the lace from the shop. And then we've just got some uh, little clusters down here with some silk flowers, some butterfly punches. There's some of the um, ivory bead round, round pearl trim from the shop. And some more of those fibers there. Another little butterfly up here. Here's one of the four inch doilies from the shop. Some more of that fabric. I love this fabric, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, I just love it. Um, just some threads, a little bit of thread, and some more of those fibers there in another um, floral applique, little tiny embroidered floral applique. Another lace tab on the side of the page there. And then I did the same on the back side. So you could tuck something underneath here if you wanted to. Here's a photo mat, large photo mat, and I just put a little friendship pin on the side. I love these. <laughs> Super pretty paper. Some ledger sheet. She's got a tip out. Some Edith Holden book page. Here we just got a couple of um, little journaling spots again. There's some more of that fabric and another applique with just some thread and fibers behind it. And then just a sheet of paper that I've done a light stamping on. There's not really, aside from this, I didn't do any stamping anywhere else. This was just something that I had um, laying with all my other stuff on my table, so I just stuck it in here. But I didn't do any stamping because I don't know if they have stamps for the other ones, so I didn't, I don't think that they do, so I didn't do any stamping on hers. Here's a little mini file folder that I just did a tiny collage there on it. It just says I had a lovely time. There's some lace cheesecloth, some more of that fabric right there. I love it. A little gray rosette and some of those fibers. There's a paper clip that I just topped off with some of those purple rosettes and some cheesecloth. There's the center of the signature and just a layaway tag. It's just got a little bulb pin with the button, some purple fibers, and a little snippet of lace. And it's just blank on the back. Put some butterflies in the end of the strings. Cut out of music sheet paper. Here's a little tag there with some more of the um, purple pom pom eyelash trim from the shop. And then down here, I did another little collage. And there's um, some more book page. This is one of those little snippets from the Tim Holtz. I've got some of that fabric again back here. A real pretty fabric from that dress. And then there's a piece of doily, a crocheted doily right back here. Some thread, some more of those vintage fibers, a little button. And the button, I just wove some thread through the holes in the button. 
Isn't that so pretty though? And there's another little friendship pin. There's just another little journaling card there. Just blank. And here I just created a tuck spot out of the Edith Holden book page. And there's just a couple of little journaling cards in here in this pocket. Right here I just put some of the um, just tore up a piece of pattern paper. I don't know if you can see it underneath there. And I folded it over the edge of the page, topped it off with some of the fabric from that dress, some of those fibers, and a button. And then it's just wrapped around. I did the same on the other side, but instead of a button, I just used those little embroidered appliques there. Super cute. I love that. Joyce did that on one of the pages in my journal. So pretty. Inside, here's one of the large craft sacks, white craft sacks from the shop. This one's just coffee stained. And I just got a little pocket here with a large um, oversized index card. And I just topped it off there with some a snippet of lace, some of the fabric from the dress, and another floral applique and some of the fibers. This is some lace from the shop. And then of course, if she wants, she can just tuck stuff right inside there. Some graph paper. Here's one of the magic bags. I just folded up the bottom half. So I just got, whoops, I think I got two of them here. So I just got one of the midget bags and I just folded the bottom half up. So there's a pocket here and then the top of the bag as well. And then I got one of the date sticks with those beautiful fibers. And then that's the pattern paper there. This is from a um, paper studio stack. And then inside the bag I've got a little journaling card for her. And then on the lower pocket is just some cutouts from the paper collection. That one says sweet day. This one says family time. I thought this would be appropriate since she was on a family vacation. And then I just did a little collage down here with a corrugated heart. Um, what is that stuff called? <laughs> paper mache, or not paper mache, what is it called? The streamer paper flowers. <laughs> uh, button, some of the fibers, there's some thread, some doilies, book page, and then there's another one of those little um, word snippets from Tim Holtz. And this is just a tip out. So she can do some more writing in there. But didn't that turn out cute? I love it. Here's another one of those little pockets that I created out of a guest check. This is, um, I got this idea from Angie. Angie did this in one of my journals. And um, she did not claim to be the mastermind behind this. She did tell me who did this. I just can't remember who it was. And I am so sorry for that. Um, but she did do this in a journal to me. So that's where I got the idea. And that little snippet just says a memory to hold. So she can tuck something right inside here, little ticket stubs or something. And then I just did a little, another little collage with some book page, some more of that fabric from the dress, another piece of doily and some of the fibers. And then there's a bulb pin from the shop along with an old button. And then I just have that little tag there, again topped off with those real pretty fibers. I just love the colors in those. So pretty. And that just tucks right behind there. Some more of the lace from the shop. Here's some more of that fabric from the dress. Isn't that just such a perfect match for this collection? So I just gathered it along the side of the page, adhered it down with um, Fabri-Tac. I didn't do any sewing in here. 
And then there's some more of those fibers again, and then just a little printable. Here's another one of the glass, or the other half of the glassine bag from the shop. And I just cut it down the center there, folded the tops back like a little collar on a shirt. And there is some, um, some of the fabric from the dress, some more of the fibers and the um, embroidered applique. And then inside here is just one of the oversized, these are the jumbo tags from the shop. And I just die cut the word moments into that. And some more of the fibers from the shop as well. Back here we've got one of the micro mini glassine bags from the shop and then inside it I've got one of the tags that I carry also. Just blank. And then another date stick for her. I love these date sticks. They're super fun. And then I just topped off the bag there with one of the cutouts from the shop. It says go wild for a while. She was in Vegas, so <laughs> you know the state the saying what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? <laughs> Uh, we, I got a little bit of tool right behind here. There's a ivory rosette and again some more of those fibers right behind the flower there. And then this is again just another tip out. Back here I've just got another little photo mat for her. And then this just tips out too. I'm just not gonna take off the paper clip. There's nothing on there. It's just blank for writing. And then that beaded paper clip there. Here we've just got an envelope. There's nothing inside here. Just another place for her to tuck something. The other half of that perpetual calendar in here, I just topped that off with a little piece of lace, some more of the fabric, fibers, and then an old button. And that is the last page, you guys. And there's the back. Super cute, right? I love it. I love, love, love it. I hope she does too. So that was my, um, my journal share. Um, I was so happy to be able to do this. I've been working on this off and on probably for about a month now. It's, it's like I said, I, I don't get a lot of crafting time at all, you guys. I can't even commit to, I've had people ask if I can make them journals, and I just, I can't commit because I, I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to do something like this. So, like I said, this took me about a month to, to get these kits together for her. And then I'm working on those shabby chic kits, and I've just got so many projects going that I can't ever <laughs> I just can't commit to actually crafting a journal so anyhow this was a lot of fun for me and I hope you guys liked it I thought it was really really pretty um but yeah it was so fun to come and visit with you guys again I appreciate all your comments and you taking the time to invite me into your home to watch my videos. It, it really does mean a lot to me. And I, I miss you guys. I miss being able to come and share um, share projects with you guys. It, it's, it just, I miss it. So it's so much fun for me when I do get to come and hang out with you all. So I will be back hopefully again soon. If I, if I get some time to make something, I'll be back to share it with you guys. Um, my kits are almost ready. And what else? What else? I've got lots of new stuff in the shop. So if you guys are interested, go on over. I had... Um, Oh, I, I had a lot of my stock was depleted because of the last giveaway. It was just super busy. <laughs> so a lot of my stock got depleted, but it's, it's slowly coming back in. So, um, so that's fun, but yeah, lots of new stuff. So go take a look and, um, and more stuff coming. I just need to find the time to, to get it listed. So it's just kind of sitting around in piles here at my house. So 
anyhow, um, thank you all for all the support. You guys are amazing, amazing. And um, I guess that's it. I'll stop rambling, okay? You guys enjoy your Sunday tomorrow. It's late Saturday night, so I got to get to bed and get ready for church in the morning. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye!